This is a commercial satellite photo of a Syrian chemical weapons base. U.S. monitoring of roughly two dozen bases like this indicates the Assad regime has begun preparing its chemical weapons for use. Orders have been issued to bring together chemical ingredients which are normally stored separately for safety, but when combined, form the deadly nerve agent sarin. Throughout months of heavy fighting, intelligence analysts have said Assad remained confident he would defeat the uprising. But now the fighting has crept so close to Damascus that airliners are refusing to land. Syria experts say the regime may have pushed the panic button. Although the Syrian foreign ministry repeated today that the Assad dictatorship would never use such weapons against its own people. Secretary of State Clinton said this about the possible use of chemical weapons. This is a red line for the United States. Uh, I'm not going to telegraph in any specifics uh, what we uh, would do in the event of uh, credible uh, evidence <coughs> that the Assad regime has resorted to using chemical weapons against their own people. Uh, but suffice it to say, we are certainly planning uh, to uh, uh, take action if that uh, eventuality uh, were to occur. Seizing the chemical weapons and agents would require putting up to 75,000 troops on the ground a massive operation that U.S. officials say is only likely to happen if and when Assad falls. Preventing Assad from using his chemical weapons would require airstrikes against sites defended by Russian-made anti-aircraft missiles. For now, the Obama administration is backing up its public warnings by sending private messages to Assad through one of his few remaining allies, Russia. David, thank you.